Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Rose Serpent Oracle. My name is Nella Maat and I am feeling truly grateful that you're here. What's going on? Beautiful Taurus. Okay, so these are going to be messages uh, for those with sun, moon, rising, or north node in the sign of Taurus. Now, if you are here and as you are listening, this is resonating with you. If there's something that is like, you know what, I am, I am here and I want to listen, just trust it. Okay. Let's not just be, let's not just use linear thinking because we all are interconnected. All right. And, um, we also are influenced by these energies. What is that? Okay. Okay. I see. <laughs> never mind so Taurus um yes coffee grounds reading we will be using oracle and or oracle bones oracle um all right so very interesting number one I feel distracted and and you know there's this sense of you know I'm just so freaking tired I just want to have fun uh, it's like, oh my God, again, again, here we go. And as I am recording today, Taurus, it is the Aries full moon. And so I tried to record your messages yesterday and there was a lot going on related to my personal life, having to attend to family stuff and responsibilities. And so I feel that all of this is your energy since yesterday, all right? When I start to tap in into Taurus, it was like the Taurus Collective is being hit with things coming from left and right, different things happening. And I feel like you want to move ahead, charge ahead, and maybe stay focused on just one thing, but then life is getting you into hey you know what we need to pay attention to this before you do that so it's all about foundations for you Taurus it's, 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 it's about I'm hearing feeling is healing and then uh, attending to the to your emotional well-being first to then make sure that the things we do, the choices we make, the, the decisions we make are grounded. Okay, this is about foundation stores. Um, I am using this that, uh, hawk feather. It's a red tail hawk. Um, and now I was given this feather when I needed it to attend to court. I was dealing with legal matters, a lot of paperwork. Uh, I needed it to relocate. You see, um, there were like misunderstanding when it comes to like family dynamics and power to struggles. Um, I was just, I, I, I needed it to tap into my inner strength. You know what I mean? I needed it to make choices and decisions without the influences of people who were also in my ear telling me what to do. And and you not and you know, sorry, this is a lot of energy. Okay, it's just a lot of messages for you guys. And so I was going through so much, and I, you know, I discovered how intuitive I was, how connected and protected I was with by the divine I but one thing I did was to make sure that I was acting on integrity one thing that I did make sure was that I was that my judgment was clear that I was being responsible that I was taking accountability this was a time in my life where I was like so aware that the universe was using situations and things that they were so uncomfortable because they were pressing every single button, okay? It was using this to, to help me take accountability and understand why was I attracting certain situations and people. And also it, it, the universe wanted to show me how 
intuitive and open and connected I was, it brought me into my integrity. It brought me into having to freaking build my courage and my strength and, and safety from within and faith. So a lot of the my my virtues, divine virtues and the cultivation of inner safety, faith, and not waiting for anyone to change my life, not waiting for anyone to give me anything. I was open to it, but I knew that I needed to get into problem solving and I needed it to show up for myself and it brought me into humility, but also I was helping the collective and I was receiving reciprocity, you know? So I feel that you guys are experiencing this energy. Now, these messages are not for everyone. You might be out of that cycle, finishing the cycle, or starting the cycle, okay? So let's just be open. But the energy is like there's a lot going on, and this is about you remembering who you are. This is about stopping the excuses, getting focused, determined. This is about discipline. This is about you tapping into your own intuition and stopping the need also to go talk to many people in order to get answers, okay? And it's about reconnecting with you, with you and your divinity and, and strengthening your connection to the divine and your guides and your higher self. Holy cow, that was just a lot channeling right there, you see? So the, the hawk spirit animal, okay? So awakening divine perception, higher vision, accountability, impeccability with our words and our actions, uh, also showing up vulnerability, embracing our emotions and being, you know, this is about clearing, 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 deep clearing, deep clearing, okay? So I'm going to show you guys, what is that? Oh my God. So this has been here since yesterday. All right. So I'm going to show you. Just take a deep breath to connect with it and trust if you receive anything. This is so beautiful. Holy cow. Oh, I'm seeing the number 13, the dead card. And look at this. <laughs> oh, the spoon. It's a spoon. Trust that you receive any messages too, okay? Because this is so beautiful. I'm going to have to make it the, 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 the main picture for you guys, Taurus. This is like. You are clearing the way. You're going deep within you, deep within you, and you are ready to remove, okay? That's, you are ready to, to take some bold moves, okay? You are also ready to tap into your inner wealth, inner abundance, inner wisdom, Okay? It's long and steady. I'm feeling a lot of confidence. I'm feeling a lot in my 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 navel, like a lot of my 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 intuition. It's like I'm going deep in there and I am just removing, going into my unconscious and going deep within myself to remove what needs to be removed, okay? Yeah, because the spoon is completely is packed. So you're just scooping things out, out of your unconscious, out of your life, all right? That's so beautiful. Oh, my God, the universe is so beautiful. Thank you to the ancestors, honoring your ancestors and my ancestors. And so we are going to start going into the car. So right away, it's like dragon energy. There's like dragons here, dragon energy, a lot of fire, a lot of Mars energy, trying to get things done. Uh, we have the letter Z, the letter S, the number 33. So it's a master number, number 22, another master number. We have the initials TL and TL or TJ. Letter N, 
42. Letter G. And there's a cup. So this is related to your emotions. Okay. There is, there are fishes. Oh, there's dolphin. So yeah, that's the like playful energy. And also it's about resources, about you being super, in, super resourceful, Taurus. Okay. Number 38. There's like a bathing suit here. This is funny. Okay, so uh, so go to the water. Some of you might live by the water. Get make sure you're getting some sun. There's also to something connected about your self image, and it's time to heal that. Okay, how are you projecting your own resolve, pain situations, um, you know, into your body? How are you rejecting your physical vessel? And there's also a message here about the idea, this idea of perfection. This idea of feeling that you have to fit in, that you have to feed the mold, okay? Be aware of being superficial, all right? Um, there's also a um, letter E. I'm seeing the word slaying, slaying. You're about to slay some truths. So some truths are going to be communicated to you. And the birdies just started to like sing really loud and they were quiet. So expect good news, communication, people coming your way. I'm hearing, I'm, ha I'm hearing family dynamics. Be aware of being defensive. There's something too about uh, Taurus, you taking on too much or too many responsibilities. And there's something about growing up and taking on extra responsibilities. It's time to drop that out, you know. Letter V, letter S, letter G, letter L, number seven. I'm hearing Capricorn. I'm hearing Scorpio. There's a genie in the bottle. -na 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 -na. Mm -hmm. There's something about a romantic relationship and some pain or betrayal of. Uh, abandonment there's like conditional love it's like it's like there's something about Taurus attracting people who can see that they are very resourceful and then you know they just want to they just kind of sorry want to like like hold on to you Taurus because of what you have to offer right but then Taurus have a problem with seeing what they have to offer there's a horse, and then I can hear the horse is galloping. It's going, it's going, it's going. Where is it going? So these are my psychic visions. So I'm feeling like the horse is going, the, the, the night to cops. It's, just, it's like for some of you, there's a love offering, or you want to offer love to someone. But you're afraid of being rejected. You're afraid. Why are you afraid? Are you afraid of love? Because of past situations, are you afraid of, okay, so I'm feeling, how am I going to balance everything out and then think about love? All right, take what resonate, leave the rest. But there's something about abandoning and dismissing some desires and then getting busy, getting busy, overwork, overworking, trying to numb certain desires. So uh, take what resonate, leave the rest. Um, there's like a, a house, but I, I heard church, church. So there's something about a church, religious beliefs, all patterns and behaviors, uh, the hero fun, yeah, the other hero fun is Taurus. So Taurus, I feel that you are on a process of scooping down, like scooping out or down, you know, all beliefs, systems that are, that are ready to be let go. Number five, number seven, 1981, 1979, the shark. So shark energy, when 
when the shark energy is present, it's like I'm acting from, from tr with trust issues. I'm not sure, so I'm watching. I don't know. I'm around, and and you don't come too close to me because then I can just destroy you. <laughs> and you know you guys can do that, right, with your words, right? Um, but then when the shark energy is present, it's like you're attending to details, you are showing up firm and confident, you're owning your words, you are acting on integrity, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, being very impeccable with your words, okay? That words impeccable, impeccability came to the end a lot for the collective. There's a volcano here, you guys. There's a volcano. You guys can see it here. Right here. I'm going to show you a cup. It's a volcano here. All right. Letter S, letter M, letter G, letter A, letter S again. So this is about you being open to see the signs. There's the angel of balance working with you. I see Mother Earth, the feminine offering you a cup. The divine feminine is uh, the mother wants you to have a, a new emotional begin, a new beginning when it comes to your emotional, how you connect with others, how you relate to others. Okay. That's the number... Eight and number nine, so the ni this 1995, that might be important. Okay. Then 59, there's a dog, dog is barking. The door, the doggy is looking at a triangle. It's like looking at a triangle. What I'm feeling is that pay attention to your thoughts and your words and your actions when, okay, so the dog is connected to friendship, your dynamics when it comes to friendship, what are your thoughts, how do you move when it comes to friendship, okay, number 17, 1971, did I say 1982 again? Okay, already, 1982, 1997, letter L, letter I, letter E, number 29, something happened when you were nine, something happened for some of you when you were 13 years old, something connected to the house, the home, some of you had a pet, there's something about inner child healing. There's a seahorse. A seahorse. Such a gentle animals. The waters. Attending to the emotional waters. There's a gift in your heart. And the seahorse wants to take you. Okay, and this is the, the male seahorse, and he's carrying the egg. So this is about your divine masculine wanting to work with your feminine in co-creation to help you manifest and, and watching them coming together and meeting and, and, and making the shape of the heart. And like this is about love and relationships and manifesting what is within your heart Taurus, okay which is a balanced life you know with uh, in, in safety integrity a place of love a place of understanding number 27 there's the symbol of um cancer here okay cancer and scorpio letter a a deep transformation that you're experiencing. It, this is connected to your number eight, which is a Scorpio, right? Transformation and awakening your abundance, your prosperity, okay? All right. This is all I got from the cup. That was a lot. I can just keep going, but I feel that 
and what I'm hearing is this is it. Okay, now we're gonna use the tarot, all right. Woo, thank you, you guys, for being here. Thank you for allowing me to be marinated. <laughs> <laughs> marinated in your energy i feel that i am longing for connection for love i feel that i'm experiencing some kind of emotional loneliness but i feel that i maybe have learned to just live this way and i'm getting emotional i'm feeling emotional because i in truth i am desiring a, a very specific family dynamic, Taurus. And so this is about your honesty, okay? Yeah, the seven of cups, you see? So there's a lot about how worthy do you feel to receive and to manifest and to have something beautiful and meaningful, all right? And then pay attention to distractions don't be superficial towards don't also don't get distracted by people who might seem like they have the answers and there's something about you reconnecting with that wisdom within you do you have the pattern to just listen to others i'm hearing follow follow the song the wheel of fortune Okay, so it's time to change. It's time to change the direction you have been going. It's time to shift and to attend to the to the emotional to the emotional part of things, okay? okay yeah, be aware of being very rigid and fixated and, and you're being asked to reconnect with your intuition, to soften up. The five of cups, there is pain of the past, despair, family sorrow, um, uh, the things I have lost. We're in need of acceptance. As you know, everything in our past has been serving a purpose. The pain we have experienced, you know, is serving a purpose. And sometimes it's, you know, for the inner child, right? The inner teenager needs a little bit of uh, explanation in in processing those past experiences okay this is uh, big wounds when it comes to the house the home the family abandonment feeling like I don't belong is struggling with uh, seeing and embodying you know my virtues and my worth my self-worth okay we have the Ten of Cups and it's reversed with the lovers. And so how I see it, Taurus, is that, you know, right now is the time to ask yourself, you know, what is my vision? You see? What is my vision? Now that the divine is offering me these Four of Cups, and here you are as the King of Wands, okay? Uh, this is about you recognizing your the capacity you have to manifest your heart desires and to reevaluate, you know, where, what is it that you're doing? What are you truly doing it? Uh, how am I maybe suppressing some areas of my life? Maybe for some of you, it's the romantic aspect of life. Uh, maybe it's connections. We have the devil here. Oof, yeah. How am I also in the dead card? Okay, so how, how worthy do I feel of receiving what the divine is offering me, right? How am I settling down? Why do I settle down? Why do I feel that I have to settle down? There's something about feeding into how comfortable are you with showing up authentically, okay? But I would say right now, Taurus, you know, the energy of good fortune, abundance, and prosperity is around you. And I feel like you have no problem with that. But there is a big, big thing here. Um, emphasis when it comes to your heart, your emotions, connections, and inner child healing. All right. Cool. And 
and I'm gonna pick one of these cards from the power deck and we have gathering with number 26 north direction this is the north and is the color white and look oh my god look she's scooping from the waters I love this synchronicity. She is cooping from the waters of consciousness, okay? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful synchronicity. Look at that. Yep, exactly. I am legit. All right. This life is like the fulcrum on a scale of balance. Your past and future lives determine the need for gathering a strength in this life. There's a reason for all the pain. As you gather knowledge from the infinite sea of consciousness and life experiences, you begin to evolve. You fill the ground or the gourd of your spirit with knowledge, sorry. So that one day it can be emptied and you might begin to gather wisdom, become one with all life and consider the true importance of what you are gathering. Holy moly guacamole. All right, Taurus, this is all I got for you guys. It's being amazing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Come on. Come on, beautiful Taurus. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what's up. And if you feel guided, please share my channel. All right? I'm loving you always. Big, big love. Peace and blessings.